Hello and welcome again to the Kidney Kitchen. Today we're cooking a classic Italian dish, spaghetti bolognese. With a little bit of a twist to it, we've got some uh, green lentils going into it. Classic ingredients, like I say, dried herbs, basil, oregano, and some uh, vegetables. Which we're going to start by chopping first. A little bit of chopping to do. So let's crack on with that. There you go, just nice even, even sized dice. There you go, that's the start of my chopping. Just before I do my onion, I'm just going to remind everybody that I always put a damp cloth underneath my chopping board, especially when you're doing a bit of quite an amount of chopping. Just, look, it's not going anywhere now. You don't want to be chasing your board around the, around the room. Remember to keep your fingers right out of the way with this one. Last of all, just I'm going to crush a couple of cloves of peeled garlic. There you go. That just releases the oils out of the garlic cloves. Okay, so we've got a nice large pan just heating up. Let's put about a tablespoon of, of olive oil into there. And then we're going to soften, soften all those vegetables. So there you go, we're going to give those about five or seven minutes just to soften up. And then we're going to take them out of the pan and fry up our meat separately. But about, say, about five or seven minutes on your veg, get it nice and soft. There you go. Now we're going to put that back onto the stove, get a real high heat and then pan fry the meat. Just a little another splash of olive oil. And there's our lovely bit of beef mince. About four portions we've got here all together, 375 grams of, of quality beef mince. So I'm really frying off my meat here, get a nice bit of colour on it. You want a nice, nice hot flame, just so your meat actually fries in the pan, doesn't stew. You want it nice and, uh, nice bit of colour on it. And there's the herbs that I talked about earlier, some dried oregano. It's a good, good heat teaspoon. And also some dried basil. Again, another teaspoon. In my vegetables, ones that we just pre-cooked earlier, soften those up, back into your pan with your mince. That's smelling really lovely now. Now I've got a bit of uh, tomato puree, a bit of tablespoon to go in there, and then some uh, good quality tomatoes, as in all good Italian dishes, they use lovely chopped tomatoes. Again, give that a good old stir around. It's starting to smell really good now. I'm going to let that tick over now for five or seven minutes just to create that nice, rich start of your thick bolognese sauce. Okay, just got to make up some uh, low salt beef stock. This is going to make me a lovely rich bolognese sauce, got my tomatoes in there, my stock. Gonna let that tick over for about 10 minutes now. Okay, so the 10 minutes are up, and that's created a lovely thick bubbling sauce there. One last ingredient to go in, and that's our green lentils that we talked about earlier. I'm gonna put them in about five minutes in the pan. So we're just gonna stir in those lentils Give them about five minutes just to warm through. In the meantime, we'll cook our spaghetti and the two will be ready, should be ready together. Okay, so there we have five minutes of, of pass with my lentils in there. Nice and hot and bubbling away. My spaghetti's drained. Let's bring that over. There we go, nice 
pot bowl of steaming pasta. Now I've just got to plate it up. A nice good couple of spoonfuls of my rich bolognese sauce. There you go, a lovely plate of traditional spaghetti bolognese, which I think is great. Just need Angelina, dietitian with us today, to give it its approval. She's been keeping an eye on proceedings today. How are you? Good, good, very well. Bolognese fan? Yeah, yeah. It's always tricky how to eat. It, it is, it? very, yeah. very, yeah. Spoon and fork. Absolutely, there's yeah. a knife there if you require it. Lots required, of vegetables yeah. in there, isn't there? It is, yeah. I think it's a great plate of food. There's plenty there for four yeah. people. Yes, more than enough. There's a sort Absolutely. of dish you can double up on as well, make eight portions and sort of batch cook That's it. That's a really like. good plan, actually. Mm. That's a lovely hearty meal, isn't it? It's yeah, great. Really nice. And the great thing about this is it's got the lentils and the beef, yeah. which makes it really high in protein. Um, perfect for people that are having dialysis because they need the extra protein. Sure. It's also low in potassium and phosphate as well from our analysis. So, you know, anyone that's following a dietary mm -hmm. restriction, this again is an ideal meal Perfect. for them. Yeah. I always worry about putting tomatoes, too many tomatoes in a mince dish. But I suppose split between at least four people, it's, it's minimal, is yeah, it? Yeah, what you're yeah. saying is exactly right. People mm. do worry about putting tomatoes in things, but when you think about a whole can of tomatoes and it's going across four portions, yeah. then it's a, a lot, it's yes, not we, very yeah, much, sure. but also because we're serving it with pasta, which is low in potassium, that balances the fact cool. that we've used something high in potassium with something low so, in yeah. potassium. Fantastic, yeah. good, good. Yeah, I'll tuck in, shall we? I'll it's not never the most presentable plate of food, is it? But it tastes <laughs> good. I think everyone knows. I think everyone that's always the most important thing, isn't it? <laughs> Proofs in the eating, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if the flavour's there, you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. And food is about enjoying, isn't Fantastic. it? Fantastic. Couldn't yeah. agree more. Yeah. Thank Definitely. you for trying it. Thank you for cooking. Thank you.